who is this digital consumer and how would you define this concept? The digital consumer is just anyone with connected device to the internet, just searching for information about products uh, or taking advantage of any content published online. So this is uh, the simplest de definition, but of course we can distinguish between the broader concept uh, and also the narrow concept. So this is the narrow concept I have mentioned before. So the broader concept is uh, that digital consumer is like e-consumer. So this is the, the broad definition of e-consumer. So digital consumer could be a buyer of things on the internet, but not necessary. Technology becoming our sixth sense and all this trend about having wearables, wearable glasses, wearable uh, shoes, wearable technology in general. What would you say are the pros and cons of this concept? Consumers are, are lazy. Yeah. So these uh, devices are very useful for us. Mm -hmm. They facilitate fa our life. Right? Yeah, abs absolutely, absolutely. So they are easy to use. So I think this is the, the great uh, advantage of these uh, wearables. But of course, this advantage is that uh, you can be tracked. Would you like to be observed instantly? Maybe not. Yes. All the time. All the time. Yes. So that's that, that's the problem I think with the wearables because you you exposed yourself to the pub publicity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that that's that's the problem. Do you think the cultural differences posited by Hofstede still stand? I think that that this concept uh, is universal. Sometimes uh, we can observe that millennials especially and uh, the Generation Z, digital natives so-called, they are very similar around the, the world. But I think there is no digital consumer, just one digital consumer, even if the consumer uh, is uh, from Generation Z. Yeah. So I think the cultural difference and sometimes so I think that the concept is still useful.